Rock! What's up everybody? It's Phil from New York Rocks TV. Stay tuned, you're watching New York Rocks, baby. Who rocks better than us? Nobody rocks like New York Rocks! We rock the best! Good. They get better every time yeah, we do it. You know, this. the song is sounding so great. You guys are right on. And I want to give it up for everybody in the house band, the New York Rocks band. Yeah. <laughs> the mayor of rock and roll, <laughs> Sal Sergio. He's also in that hit movie, Knock Knock, which was last night. I didn't forget. Well, as but of also, Sunday. But also now we have other great people in the band. We got to bring up Mikey Tattoo for making things happen. Yeah. Yeah, Mikey Tattoo, man. Give Mikey. Mikey Tattoo. Then we have the great Chaz DePaulo on yeah. the guitar. Yeah. And then we got Big Bad Bill on the drums. Yeah. Yeah, Big Bad Bill on the drums. And we have Byron Khaleesi back rocking out in the background. Yeah. Being a part of the scene. Yeah. All right. So we had the house band of rocking out. The sound great. And they got AJ right here. AJ from Twisted Sister. There he is, the man. There you go. There you go. We got, we got to what give did a little I tell love you about to you. that. We got to give a little love, you know? <laughs> but besides AJ on the show here tonight, we have another great drummer, legendary Bernard Pretty Purdy, right on the show here tonight. Yeah. yeah. And we have our man over here, a fitness personality. His name is John Olandini. I'll give a hand for John Olandini. Had a great show. I want to thank everybody for coming down. We have a great studio audience here tonight. We also have on the show tonight, we have Mad Dog and Johnny B. You're going to yeah. come on the show, right? Yeah, 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 Mad Dog. Mad Dog, man. He's a, he's a, he's a wrestler. Absolutely. You know, he's going to talk about wrestling. And uh, he's got a couple of surprises, too. And I got my man Johnny B also helping out. He's going to come on, too. He's going to speak with, uh, with the Mad Dog there. Yeah. So we have uh, some of the actors that are going to be in Priceless. 
actually in the studio here tonight. Yeah. That's gonna be great. Yeah. And you're in the you're in the movie yeah, too. He gave me a role in it, which is great. Yeah, it's Bernard's cool. in it. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, all those staff. The whole, the I think whole family's there. in there. Yeah. That's a great thing. Yeah. Sal, Sal, I think it's taking a little part there. Well, Sal's, yeah, we'll play Russian. That's it. <laughs> How do you figure it? Very yeah, interesting. Yeah, Italians <laughs> playing Russians. Yeah, That's they used to be make great. mob movies. <laughs> not even <laughs> good. Yeah. We turn into Russian. <laughs> Your papers are not in order. Just watch a couple of Schwarzenegger movies. Oh, I got the guy who does my tattoos, Andre, from uh, Island Tattoo. I, Island he's he's going to coach me. He told yeah. me already. He's going to coach me. It's an old, old he town said, road. I'm going to make you speak Russian good. And I said, right? Oh, Let's give it up for the sponsor, Island Tattoo. Yeah, Island Tattoo, yeah. And Doza, down Doza. at uh, Old Town Road in Highland Boulevard. You want to get a tattoo? You go see Doza at... Um, Island Tattoo. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's yeah. get the show going. Yeah. All right. So first up, we have John Olandini. He's over here. He's a fitness personality. And uh, John, how are you doing today? Very good. Thank it's you. very nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you for, for coming. And thank you for coming. I appreciate you got it. A, you got a nice grip there, though. You know. I appreciate it. Thank you can't you can't crush the the host's hand because then he, <laughs> he might cry in front of everybody. You know. What I mean? A mad dog will do that for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, mad dog's pretty. You know, big boy. Big boy. Pretty big boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so talk a little about yourself. Now, John, where are you from? Tell everybody where you're from first. Long Island, New York. You're from Long Island. Give it up for Long Island. Yeah. Come on, we got some Long Island people here. The other island. Yeah. The other, the other, island. other, island. Yeah. The other yeah. island. Joe Penzarella is from Long Island. He's over here. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's over Joe there. Joe Pasilico, too. They're, they're all come from Long Island. I like Long it's, Island. Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's good. You know, Long I love Island. It. I love it. Yeah. Right place We're to in live. Staten Island. It's like smaller. It's not as long. No, it's it's like shorter. Do you know how long? Do you know how long it is? It's actually 14 miles wide, seven miles long. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, they had the dump and made it bigger. Yeah, well, they, they added that. Well, the dump is close yeah. and now it's shrinking. It's getting. All right, so <laughs> a little comedy. You gotta have a little comedy. Yeah, you know? yeah. A little yeah. trivia now and then. It yeah. doesn't hurt. Sure. Okay, so now you're from Long Island, but you're a fitness personality. Explain a little bit about being a fitness personality. When did you just start getting into fitness? Go, let's go back. Uh, go this, back. This oh, is like boy. A, this is like a roast. It's like a I'd roast. I'd say I started about 15 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother actually got me into it. What, the puberty? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Got me there. That's what usually happens. Yeah. Now. That's my brother actually got me uh, interested in fitness yeah. at a very young age, mm -hmm. and um, by 19, I had my own business. Okay. And then and what that, was it? What, was, what type of business was that? Uh, personal training. Oh, okay. And... Uh, and uh, just build it from there. Just it kind of expanded, tried different adventures in the field. Mm -hmm. And um, here I am today, uh, 24 years later. Right. Okay, now now you're doing this thing called uh, Fit Equilibria. Yeah, my website, fitequilibria.com. Okay. And, um, that. and basically it's um, letting everybody know about fitness and the fountain of youth, mm -hmm. and anybody can work out. Um, it's not difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a commitment and dedication. And All right. But besides working out, there's other things involved with uh, taking care of. Well, you mentioned the fountain of youth. Now, what's what 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 does that inscribe? Like? Everyone wants to know what the fountain of youth is. Yeah, we would like to, everybody. Everyone, everyone to know. wants to know that magic yeah. pill. Right. And the three basics you have to know about fountain of youth: eating, which is everything, exercise, and sleep. Mm -hmm. And eating is like your car. If you have no gas, you don't run. You, right. If you have no oil, you burn out. Right. Same with food. Food is your fuel. If you don't have the good nutrition in you, you're going to burn out. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to drink these energy drinks. They right. like to drink coffee to keep going. Eventually, mm -hmm. you're going to go down and uh, get very tired very fast. So mm -hmm. Fountain of Youth is following that program and just being consistent with it, and you will change in time. But what, let's say with the different things there is today, like not everybody is on a, like a, a nine-to-five job. Right. Let's say if you work, like let's say, a lot of hours and you work overnight, how would you, you know, possibly make that work? You know, well, is there a way the transition is the same. If you're doing a four to midnight or you're doing an overnight, mm -hmm. that's like your morning, right. afternoon, evening, and the different shift. And you just do the same mm -hmm. type of program right. and just follow it. You just have to be consistent with it, you know. And, and if you follow it and you're disciplined enough, mm -hmm. it'll fall into place. How, how about let's say meals? Like, how would you like? Do you have to have a breakfast, a lunch, and well, a dinner? Well, I always felt the it? breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And um, there's a lot of, you know, you know, you can argue that, you cannot argue that. Right. People are on the go, they're on the run, you have your protein shakes, you mm -hmm. have your uh, small meals, big meals. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people like to take little small meals with them. Right. Um, I just figured just 
by balancing and not trying to eat so late. You know, depending on your shift. If you're doing a night shift, you don't eat so early. You know, in the morning would be night and night would be morning. Because it lays there. If you're, if it lays there, know. exactly. Now, what about, the, what about green tea? I mean, uh, me and myself, I, I drink. That's really the only thing I drink mm -hmm. is green tea. It's a great and expert. It's, yeah. I found it's done a lot for my metabolism. Let me see your tongue. <laughs> Why? Let's see if it's green. <laughs> <laughs> so that's oh, all you eat. I thought you, you want to know if I got a pierced or not. Huh? No, no, not, no, not green, funny like that. Well, I, my, when, we, when we were little, your mom and dad not always... Funny, but not that funny. When we were little, your mom and dad always said moderation, everything in moderation. Yeah, right, right. So I just took the moderation and tweaked it to today. Right. And, you know, they say, oh, it's good to have a beer once in a while. It's good to have, you know, wine. They say it lowers right. your blood pressure. Right. If wine, because they say the grapes. Right. So drink grape juice. You don't have sure. to drink the wine with the toxics. Right, right. Same with uh, coffee. Like you drink green right. tea, which yeah. cleanses you out. Right. I drink cranberry juice. Right. Cleans my body out. Mm -hmm. Lots of water. But mm -hmm. don't substitute water for food. But That's excess also do. is not good as well, too. I mean, if right. you constantly drink one thing, I mean, you should change, right? My Absolutely. In, in yeah, because your, your body gets immune to it, and you have to constantly change. Same right. with vitamins. Right. A lot of people take vitamins, vitamins, vitamins. After a while, your body gets immune to it, and it really just... You just, uh, you have to, just you have to release them right out. You just, right out. You just right. release them right out. You got to right. kind of wean off them for like three or four weeks, and then continue on. You know, again, like a cycle. Let, let's touch on the exercising about working out. Let's say, uh, what would you have to do like a workout? Well, what well, do you recommend? Let's say, for, for well, my day, my for background, day. my it's, uh, yeah. my background is dance, martial arts, yoga, Pilates, and weight training. Uh -huh. So I take uh -huh. all of that into one and sure. mix it up because your body, you always want your body to react differently. If you work out the same all the time. Yeah your body gets immune to it. Right. With the weight training, a lot of guys want to lift, yeah. lift, 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 right. and then what? Yeah. What do you do next? Your shoulders, you know? let's say, will get too big. And yeah, your joints, start to, your joints start to hurt. You know, you're going heavy and heavy. You start wrapping yourself. I never wore wraps in my life. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a matter of, you know, changing my workout continuously every three or four weeks. And now, just, you weren't always like this, let's say. Were you always like this? Uh, this like, well, you just I was always like getting this more. Well, I was always nice. disciplined and active uh, right. at being an athlete as well. Um, my mom was an opera singer and dancer, and my father was an athlete, so I was kind of blessed with, cool. with, with both. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and I've always continued with it, and uh, the martial arts is a big thing for me. That was uh, kind of a good blend for you, because yeah. your mother was a dancer, which right. took a lot of different Right. You know, she kind of forced ways. me into it a little bit, right. but I'm, I, I'm glad now, you know, because right. I, I use it in my, in my field. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my clients, I have, uh, right. you know, successful celebrities to nine-year-old kids. Could you, could you name so. a few that you've uh, worked with? Some of the people in the past that you worked yeah, with. Yeah, if he does, uh, he'll have to kill you, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I wouldn't have to kill you. Uh -huh. It's a confidential, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> quiet. I gotta do, who's gonna do New York Crocs? There's only one New York Crocs. Right? <laughs> you have to have Bernard. Bernard, 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 Bernard. The main thing is that it's, it's all about discipline. It's yeah, discipline. That's basically, yeah, all about it discipline. Once you Anybody can work <laughs> out. Anybody can do a program. Mm -hmm. It's just don't compare your program with his program. Yeah, it's right. different. Totally just different. You balance it out. That's what the fit equilibrium mm -hmm. is about. Balance. Balance of life, balance of discipline. Well, what would you recommend, like, people to eat? Like, different kinds of foods? Like, what would Well, everyone what says stay high away protein, from, low carbs. You just got to balance good carbs yeah. and bad carbs. Uh, and, and they say don't eat pasta. Pasta's not bad for you, but right. you just don't eat it at 10 o'clock at night. Right. You know, or every day. Yeah, or every day. Or a lot know. of it, the proportions, let's say, too. Well, you don't want to eat well, if like, you have too a much. Yeah, if you have a small, small portion. Yeah, yeah, somebody had to told taste. me, I don't know if this is true, but if you um, eat more than your palm of your hand, then you're eating too much. Like, you know? I don't know about that. Everyone's I different. I don't know if I'll be able to live on that, bro. I see the way. You got like the, you like some food. Uh, like yeah. yeah. You like all of my hand is. I don't you think can eat six it's palms. A nice size. Six palms. Well, <laughs> six. Well, you're a drummer. I really want fan. something. I want it. I mean, I like yeah. a steak the size of his hat. I can't. You know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Is that, I, yeah. I, I, I do everything. <laughs> you know what it is? It, anything, you, anything right. is too much of anything is not healthy for right. you. Right. Even healthy, like vitamins. Right. I, I know somebody who we were just discussing mm -hmm. who was just eating vitamins like candy, yeah. right. and then he just, it just, the, too, so much toxics was in him that it just, it got him very sick. Yeah. So too much of anything is not healthy for you. So yeah. moderation is good, but just make sure. You know, like some people say, oh, I have a cigarette once in a while when I go out. Yeah. That's one too many. You know, right. I have a beer when I go out. That's one too many. For me personally, but if you want to live that way, that's fine. If you want to live, you know, right. a more of a healthier lifestyle, then you have to change your ways. You know, like some people, though, they try to say, like, oh, yeah, well, well I've been smoking for so many years and I'm fine and this and that, but... 
that this is, is make it right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you know. it's, it's unhealthy. Yeah. They say breathing's unhealthy today because of all the pollution that we have, but it. we have to do it. Right. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. but so to try to help improve yourself, mm -hmm. you know, the, the fountain of youth is following it. People, you know, always say, you know, I, I did 20 minutes today and now I'm gonna do 40 minutes. Right. Is it gonna make much of a difference? Mm -hmm. You know, don't do more if it doesn't make a difference. Just right. balance it out. Sure, now, absolutely. Now you had brought up, you have a column. Now talk a little about the column. Well, is, I, that, is that what you write about, the fountain of youth? Is I, that the... I, it's different every time. Um, I write a couple of fitness columns for some magazines mm -hmm. and um, they, they ask questions, I get feedbacks. And uh, some is on fountain of youth, some is about certain exercises, some is about how much sleep do I get, eating, um, you know, traveling, when I travel, what can I do when I travel, right. you know, living out of a suitcase. And you do that all through the column? Yeah, so. di di different issues. I, uh, I'll write something different. You know, the women want to work out. They don't want to be big like the men. Mm -hmm. So, so I you have, also train men and women. You. Well, one of my clients, I, I do. I, I will tell you, is I train Nicole Harold, who's a Wilhelmina model okay. and uh, very well known, one of the more fitness models. Right. I never lift the weight with her. Everything's right. about Pilates, yoga, bands, right. a lot mm -hmm. of stretching. Yeah, models, they don't want bulk, Yeah, right? mo models are the most difficult people to train, basically, because yeah. they're never satisfied, right. and they have to have a certain look. Well, there's a lot of going on with uh, a lot of bulimic uh, models, and uh, you know they don't have to be like that if they train the right way, right? Exactly. They wouldn't have to starve themselves. Well, the they... models of the old are different than the models yeah. of the new. Right. You know, in the old, they were smoking, they were having a little uh, drugs, little, little, yeah. illegal drugs. Right. Stuff. Today, they're more health conscious. They're uh, a lot of walking, running, yes. exercise, mm -hmm. eating better. So um, that's good news, and mm -hmm. um, and she's one of them, perfect mm -hmm. example. You know. Wow. And she's very successful. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you've been doing this for how many years totally now with the, uh, with the column and the, and the Fountain of Youth? Now? Well, my business, 24 years. Uh, okay. The column, I, I started this year. Uh, I was approached, um, and um, I love it. It's mm -hmm. something different than just going to somebody's house and training them, and, right. and uh, it gives me a little more uh, leeway to do mm -hmm. what I feel you know I could do for everybody right. rather than just one individual. Sure. sure. And I'd like to know, like, uh, let's say me and Bernard or AJ, we wanted to get on a, a regiment with you or stuff. What, what advice would you give us? You know what I mean? How would you start us off? Lock the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> and then go put kill the, yourself. Put the little fatty <laughs> thing on there. You know, like in I can't the, pass Tony's pizza. No. <laughs> had the easy money. They had that thing, the little thing yeah. on the refrigerator. Fatty, 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 yeah. you know? You know what it is? What I do with a lot of my uh, clients is I get I tell them to get a notebook. Yeah. Write down everything that you do from eating to drinking. Mm -hmm. And when you see what you're exactly doing, if it's bad or good, you'll realize it. Yeah, right, right. And then, and then, you'll, and then that's where your change will come in. Like us, so us guys, you'll, you'll need like It's uh, like the honeymooners thing, the good points and the bad points. You need, you need I'll a have book. like 50 bad points and like three good points. Three? You know, I might, well, four. Oh. I was trying to be nice, four no, maybe. I don't want to get Bernard any much hungrier. He uh, wants so. a big steak, you know, yeah. a big palm. <laughs> tell everybody, though, tell everybody how they can find out more what's going on with you. You can get a hold of me at, uh, on my website at okay. fitequilibria.com. You, you mentioned that um, you wanted to come back for the next show. And Absolutely. you're going to talk a little about how, what you're going to do for us. And, uh, well, well, we'll come, back, come back for the next show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll get the staff on a program. Mm -hmm. First thing you have to do is clean the refrigerator. Oh, yeah? Get all the bad stuff out. How about peanut butter? Well, peanut butter's actually well, good. Not all the time. That's you gonna put be it in rough. refrigerator either. No, but, it's you know, a little peanut hard. Butter's that. not bad. That's peanut butter is actually pretty healthy. Yeah. Even yeah. the chunky one. The chunky I keep one. My peanut butter on the shelf. I do not put it in the refrigerator. You're not See? supposed to. That's not supposed that to. That man knows See, how to make it. a peanut butter sandwich. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. Hey, you're good at it. You're good. Long time. Something about you. Now, if you if you had to give if you had to give people out there one um, word of incentive on how really to get down and start this. What would you say? Uh, start off slow, don't be scared. Um, real basic, and um, just be careful of um, injur injuries. Uh, Big importance of injuries. Absolutely, people, people the older you right. get, the more prone you are. Well, I find a lot of the uh, uh, people who haven't worked out in many years just think they, they can just continue where they left off, right. and then they get injured, and then they, they're out of commission for quite a while. And then they you know, lose interest like lose a lot interest, of people do. They get do. turned off by it, and then the rest is history. Great. 
So, so the Start next time you're going to come to the show, you're actually going to bring what, a, a couple of models? I'm going to bring a couple of fitness models with, uh, with me, and uh, we're going to go over some routines. Right. Uh, we're going to get you on, out there. I'll bring my, right. uh, I'll bring my uh, running suit. Even if, let's say, yeah. you have a bad back. I do have a bad back. I had injury. Back injury. We can oh, cure that. He's... Yeah. John, he's whining already. Do you believe time. that? He's, he's, whining, he's, he's whining already. He's already going to he's he's be calling me and, and trying to get out of it. He's already <laughs> whining. Already. All right. Well, stick around because we want, st we want to speak with Bernard. We want to hear from Bernard, yeah. you know? We spoke to you. We know yeah. about fitness now. Now we know a little about yeah, drumming. I'm hungry, I think. <laughs> Got me very hungry. <laughs> You're talking about food. <laughs> Every time. Well, we're going to order from Outback in a little while, so, you know. Outback. No, yeah. we got no, big no, owls. We got, we got, got big pizza. owls and we yeah, got planet yeah. wings. Yeah. We got That's big right. owls. That's big right. owls is on uh, Great Kills. Great Kills. On Howland Boulevard between Giffords and uh, Armstrong. And, planet, big owls and pizza. planet Wings. And then we have Planet Wings. Planet Wings has two locations. Give it up for Planet Wings and Big Owls. Planet Wings is located right over here conveniently at the Forest Avenue uh, Shopping Plaza. And, right they were, here. and they were great wings, too. They brought three different styles down here. And if I you. Like the yeah, mild's good. Mild. I had the I had the teriyaki. Nice. There's That's also another good. location on uh, Old Town Road down there. Uh, no, actually Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln Avenue, Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln Lincoln Island. Island. If you can eat the wings, you know, you so many of them. You can't eat the whole. You know, whole no, wing. you can't eat the. Well, you you can have like three. Pizza wings you sample, you can sample it. You sample it. Yeah. Now I had I had the Sicilian. By the way, I was great. Two right. slices. Now. I didn't have, so I now what I've told you to do is you take know, one okay. slice and cut it in half, and now you have two slices. Okay, see, that's, that's see, a you good So you can eat pizza, you can eat wings. Yeah, people say, wings. I'm only going to have a piece of cake. Do you have to have it this big, or you have to have it this big? You just uh, want just the sample. taste. Just a taste. Okay. Just the taste. So that, that's so a good start. Your, your don't, taste over, don't overindulge. Exactly. That's a good start. Say, no, what, what do you think? What do you think? I'm going to overindulge. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to lose my weight anyhow. No matter how. But I'm going to. The fitness. You're a drummer. You're a very physical guy. <laughs> I work hard at what I do. That's and, right. And I want to make sure that I get something in me <laughs> to keep me going. I got to keep it pretty uh, figure. That's a pretty figure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I've worked and, hard to get this figure. And my hey, you, you dress beautifully tonight. Oh, you should, as yeah. always. You outdid yourself yeah. today, Bernard. Oh, thank you. Man. You really outdid yourself. He always has the nicest, <laughs> nicest uh, suits oh, and ties. Sharp, hey? sharp, sharp. Keep, sharp, keep dressing. Dressing. the studio audience. All those ladies are going to oh. see you. That's a sharp dressed man. That's right. Ladies. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's give it up for Mr. Bernard Purdy. He's going to take me out close shopping with him. Now, Mr. Mr. Purdy is yes. the most recorded drummer in the history of music. Did you know that? Yes, I That's knew that. That's what I heard. Yeah. I, I knew that. That ain't, even rumor, that ain't even rumor has it. That's just a fact. See? I like that. <laughs> I like that very much. Very good. <laughs> well. Talk a little about yourself now. Well. well well, I'm very happy to know that, uh, I'm sorry, John, that, uh, that you hadn't been selected to be in the movie with us, but uh, we're going to be in this movie Maybe Priceless. Yeah, I heard and uh, I'm very happy to be Uncle Bill. Mr. Mr. Andre, <laughs> Mr. Andre Joseph's in the house, too. Yeah, yeah. Andre. Way. Andre, man. In the house. Andre's That's in the, the house. That's oh, the producer. Yes. You got to give thank some you, love to the producer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. And also, well, we're going to have Mad Dog. He's coming up on the show. We're mm -hmm. going to bring him up in a little while with Johnny B. Yeah. And I uh, heard they got something going on. So oh. we're going to bring them up in a little while. What else you got going on for yourself? Tell everybody and then... Well, uh, I guess I have my little tour coming up. Three of the groups going to be working. Mm -hmm. Galt McDermott uh, and New Pulse Band. Mm -hmm. This is the man that wrote Hair. Right. And then I have the Godfathers of Soul. We're not called Masters of the Groove anymore. We're now the Godfathers of Soul. Good. Reuben Wilson and Grant Green Jr. Right. And uh, it just so happens that uh, there's a good possibility of a release of my book. What book? Oh, my book. Oh, yes. Mm. I forgot to tell you about mm -hmm. it. Well, tell us about it. Well, I'm not going to really try to tell you everything. It's called mm -hmm. Make a Joyful Noise. Mm -hmm. The oh. Legend of Bernard Pretty. Oh. Purdy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when, when do we expect that? Um... Uh, hopefully this year. We're looking at 2007. Great. We're Congratulations. Now discussing things with the publishers. And, you know, it's always 
mm. paperwork. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I how many pages? Is it going to be a big book or like yes, a Bible? Yes, about 250 pages. Wow. wow. It's like, yeah. like gone so with I'm, the wind. I'm yeah. very happy. I'm extremely happy. Mm -hmm. And it is good. It's all good. Yeah, the young man that it's wrote it. It's good in the hood, they say. There's, well, for me, I was trying to explain something to AJ earlier. Right. Don't try to write anymore. Mm -hmm. So I have a writer, and this is my fourth writer right. for me. But this one worked. And it's all very, very positive. And I'm looking good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of pictures and old there's a, and there's a few ton pictures, of pictures and but stuff. There's, there's everything. Okay. But I'm just so happy mm -hmm. about because it is a very, very positive book. Oh, you know, we have the website. BernardPurdy.com. BernardPurdy.com. All right, Bernard, I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you again. My plasma. Well, sorry. you know what? Maybe you'll, <laughs> maybe you'll play a little bit for us in a little while. In a little uh, while. But we got the band ready to rock out over here. But I wanted to thank John Olandini John. for coming on. It's great. It's John. It's great. Thank you for having me. I'll have you in that show. Yeah, we'll be on. You'll be, you'll be yeah. a regular now. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna show yeah. us how to be skinny and fit. <laughs> That's it. Think okay. Positive. Great. All right. Well, you know what? We have a great rock band. They're gonna rock out with us right now. The band is called Waves of Nine. Guys are from Long Island and Queens, and they're gonna rock out. So let's bring out Waves of Nine and let's give it a hand right. and rock it out on New York rocks. a lot of energy up. <laughs> it's a little hard to speak. But um, how'd you come up with this Waves and Nine? <clears throat> Basically, we got together with uh, Tommy Burns, who's uh, Billy Joel's uh, lead guitar player. Yeah. Uh, he produced our last album for us, and uh, right. we decided on going a new direction, new image, new name, and that just happened. To Talk be a little bit about that. What was that? 
Um, that's the title the, track? The, uh, well, that's, you know, I think that's a single. I personally think that's a single. Um, I think we all feel that way. Mm -hmm. Name a song, it's Something Secret. Right. Um, I mean, you can take it however you want to take it, I think, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Now, um, you guys have a website? Website um, we or? have a MySpace page. But tell everybody how they can log on to your um, MySpace page. You guys page. can log on to MySpace.com uh, forward slash waves of nine, all spelled out. Nine N I N E. You have another song you're going to play here. Talk about the song that you're going to play for us next. Uh, the next song that we have, um, this one's called uh, Love is Sin. It's uh, basically about loving all the bad things we do in life. Because we all do it. Okay. Hey, you know, thanks for coming and rocking out. But when we come back, we're going to have the Mad Dog and Johnny B on the show. Yeah. The Mad Dog the and Mad Johnny dog. B. I want to thank Bernard and John, and let's hear from the band. Rocking out. Waves of Nine, rocking on New York Rock! Dig in, Sally. Show with Johnny B. Johnny B. and Mad Dog making their appearance on New York Rocks finally. Yeah. 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 Mad Dog Joe Stone. How you doing, guys? This is it. This is the this big. This is the big this show. This is New York Rocks, huh? This, this is, is how it. we this rock. This is the show, huh? This, this is, is it. This Let's the give show. them a round of applause first. Yeah, you're a good. Thing. This is the show, Mad Dog. That's a good thing. He's representing. Well, I'm very happy to be here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm a professional wrestler for 17 years. Mm -hmm. I kicked a lot of ass in the ring, mm -hmm. out of the ring, in the ring. And uh, I held 39 titles to this day. There you go. Wow. And basically, I fought the best from the Honky Tonk Man to Jake the Snake. I fought the Ultimate Warrior two months ago. Wow. I fight Macho Man Randy Savage next month in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And I make sure I'm going to put that old man down to the ground, definitely. Mm -hmm. And basically, I started my career in 91. My, uh, my stepfather is also a professional wrestler. He retired. The Inferno, he wrestled all over Puerto Rico and Mexico. Right. And my uncle Pete Sanchez used to work for the WWF for Vince McMahon's father mm -hmm. back in Legend. the day. That's Legend. my uncle. That's my mom's brother. He got yeah. me into the ring. He go. taught me a lot of stuff, you know, yeah. to take a lot of garbage in the ring and to give a lot of garbage in the ring. Yeah. Like, I'm a heel, you know. I'm you, ain't, a, you ain't done yet. You I'm ain't done, done giving it I'm out. I'm not done yet. No way. Yeah. All these new people coming into the ring that think that we don't have it no more, I make sure I send them back to the hospital, let me mm -hmm. tell you. And basically... I do a lot of charity events now every year. Mm -hmm. I, I set up a ring in the, in the street for people, the community to come watch us right. perform for the people, and it's free. A lot of kids world. come down, Joe? A lot of kids come down. Right. Mothers, daughters, fathers, grandfathers, they all come down because it's the old school wrestling. Right. It's like the best sport going on right now mm -hmm. for everything. Yeah, Better than so baseball, right. football. It's like the, the you do World that for Series. Charity. charity. You don't, you don't charge yeah. anybody. Though. No, yeah. it's not like these guys like Triple H and all these guys, you gotta pay them twenty five thousand dollars to come see you or whatever. We come to you free because you made us. You made you we you put your ass in the seats for us. Right. You're the ones who pay us. Right. So we're giving back now to you people. It's like these guys do, like you, Hulk you Hogan. Ain't, uh, you ain't all ego. You don't no, no, no. Like it's not like these guys, Hulk Hogan. You got to pay two hundred fifty dollars. I went to down meet him, to Edison, New Jersey, on um, Sunday. Right. You got to pay two hundred fifty dollars just to sign sit next to Hulk Hogan. Right. To sit you next know? to him. Right. I could take Hulk Hogan down, no problem, yeah. no problem at all. Hulk Hogan. It's just the name. That's all yeah. it is. I'll be at your ringside, yeah. right? We'll do that. Yeah. You know? I, I heard you got a big challenge though out there coming up. A very big challenge. Yeah. Uh, there's this one guy, and I'm gonna call him. Boy, and I use that and I use that term loosely too. Mike Tyson. Oof. That's the man I want. I've been challenging him for four years. Wow. Not wow. once got back to me yet. You heard it right know. here, wow. New York Rocks. Wow. We got a challenger, yeah. Mike Tyson. And you know what? Against the man and, dog. And I'll do even one better. You, if you make that happen, I'll have Twisted Sister do three songs at pre. Uh, you have to do it. You do that? I'll you do can that. do that? Yeah. He can do that. I'll, how about New York it. Rocks comes and covers it? New York it. Rocks covers it exclusively. Johnny B, what how do you think that? about that? Johnny B, a little commentary on that. Well, thank you very much, Phil. Uh, I Give her a hand for Johnny B coming on the show. A hand. A hand. Hopping out with New I York Rocks. Giving the love it's over here. He does a great job, Johnny. Pleasure. What do you think? How do you feel about that? I think it's incredible, but Mad Dog, he's a boxer. You're a wrestler. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't that, know. That should be out there. There's a little doubt there. That should be in a movie. Know. Shouldn't that be in a movie? Be it, sh it would be an incredible movie. It would be a great movie. movie. But, but we're not talking about movies here. We're talking about the real thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Dog. This, I don't this know. This guy I mean, was the best in his time. And right. I was the best of my time. Well, let's get these two guys from back time, bring them into the ring now. Boxer versus wrestler. Mm -hmm. Let's see who could be the king of the ring. Yeah. That's well, who rocks the best? I would say somebody. Who Mad Dog does, no yeah. question about it. But That's this it. is Mike Tyson. I don't know, Mad Dog. I don't you can, think you, you can try take to bite him. your ear. Oh, you think I can't take Mike Tyson? I don't know. I mean, I watched him fight like guys like Buster Douglas. I mean, he lost, but he put him but down. Then, he was but a let big me tell you something. They're not me. See, that's the only problem, Johnny. They're not me. Okay, that's I took right. the best. Man. That's right. I got hit man, by the best. That's right. The challenge right here. I don't know, he AJ. He's up for the I mean, challenge. I mean, Phil, you're right. He's up for the challenge, but AJ. I don't know. Come on, we're talking about Mike Tyson here. You think Mike, uh, he's you, got you the think, hands of stone. Let me tell you something, Johnny B. Do you think that boy could take a body slam? I think he can. What do you, uh, I, AJ? What I, do you I, think? Come on, you're not a, saying it's a, much. It's Come a on. different world, man. It's he's a, a he's world. a drummer. Uh, he's a wrestler. And, and you're, you're a Phil. And I'm a New York <laughs> Rocks guy. No, no, no. But it's, it's I believe. It's, it's I believe it's an inside job. It's a different world. If you believe you can, you will. This ain't no fairy tale. This is the true thing. Well, if Mike Tyson's guys or boys are listening to this, call right. or send an email to New York Rocks. And yeah. so we get this thing by New next York year Rocks. going on. And I guarantee you, Mike Tyson's ass is going to go down by me. Let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, no. You've seen Thunder Lips and, Hope and Rocky. Yeah. You've seen that. That I is all fair to tell. I didn't like the ear biting thing. You've you know, seen Andre the Giant funny. and Chuck yeah. Webner, Gorilla yeah. Monsoon and Andre the Giant boxing match. 
that's not the right thing. This is going to be the right thing. When I get that boy in the ring, boy. and I want to hear that, I want to hear that yeah. boy in the ring. Yeah. I, want, I want him to come in my face and see what he's gonna what he's gonna do about it. Well, yeah. first thing he's gonna say is, "Boy, I didn't think you were that big." Yeah. That's, That's probably true, first yeah. thing he's gonna say. Yeah, I think we should bring Holyfield down and watch this, witness this. Holyfield. Mm. Yeah. Why well, not? Uh, I'm gonna have a special guest come to this show that that match too. It's Chuck Webner. Chuck Webner, yes. a very good friend of mine from Bayonne, New Jersey. Yes, I met Chuck at and the Charles at, at the um, the uh, Atlas Foundation dinner. Yes, I explained I him Chuck. with with that match. AJ does know a little bit about and Chuck the wrestling Webner scene going is on. hundred, and how Chuck Webner is looking to 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 be a sponsor for that. Right. And say he'll put it hundred percent. Wow. He's into that. AJ, AJ well, I'm there. I'm there with you too, See, my support. friend. support. I'm don't there know, with you. Your right boy by... over here, Johnny B, is having a little doubt just, over there. I just don't know, man, dog. I mean, I've watched you. I've refereed your matches. Well, Phil, you are an animal. Excuse me. Phil, I would like to show a little one demonstration, right. if it's okay with you. I don't know. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I yeah. really don't Rocks understand this. History and uh, New York Am I going to get hurt now or what? Nobody will never get hurt. I just want to. He's going to do it on Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But this is man, right. but this is Mike yeah. Tyson, man. Yeah. I want you to look at the yeah. We gotta get this on tape. You know who's it? Oh! Oh, 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 oh see man. This? That's, hey. your, that's your boy. Oh, oh Johnny B. Oh, he gave him a little bit of a beat. Nah, just a little, not too much. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Mike Tyson? Huh? <laughs> Oh man! Hey, what's the chance? What are we gonna do? We need another guy over here now. Oh man! I think he's, you know, he's just taking a rest. He's like a sleeper mode. What's going on in there? What's going on? The cameras are going crazy in there. I think you tipped the cameras over. MD, that was great, bro. Wow, look at that. Look at this. That was great, man. He's in sleeper mode. We're really seriously. Yeah, you yeah. make this happen, man. I'm in your corner, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm in your corner, oh, and I'll get, I'll get the, I'll get the boys seen... to... Uh... Like I was saying. Yeah. You know, and... Uh... Let me fix this for you. Yeah. You know? Hey, you know? You mess with the best, you go down like the rest, they say, right? You know? Well, let me tell you, Tyson with a squeaky voice, I'm going to make that boy speak like a man when I get done with him. Let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> He's still sleeping. He's still sleeping down there. I know a lot of people, a lot of people out there that know... Friends of ours, like Chuck Zito, is good friends of ours. Yeah, Chuck Zito. Yeah. Uh, Chucky. Chucky. How about, you know, get how about words Tommy? Tommy Guns. Tommy Guns. Tommy Guns also. Tommy get, Guns. get words of Chucky, man, to be there. Mm -hmm. I know Chucky does bodyguard work for Arturo yeah. Gatti. Yeah. Well, get, let Chucky, give Chucky the heads up, man. Yeah, maybe he'll come down and be together. like, uh, how about we get one of those guys to ref to keep make sure things are on, uh, up and up. We don't get any wise guys like over guys, here. Guys like yeah. this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, we get to uh, friend, you know what Joe Basilico will come down. Make sure that uh, things are, you know, but if we up could, up. you know, we could get also um, Joe Penzarella, the, 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 the Atlas sure. people, to uh, um, you know, also for charity. So I'm saying, email New York Rocks yeah, yeah. if this, if you people want this to go on. Yeah, yeah you know, I know Mike Tyson like does not know how to use a computer, does not know how to write. Oh. You uh, know, he knows how to just talk crap. <laughs> That's all he does. <laughs> You know, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to be your inmate this time, boy. I'm going to be your inmate. Oh, I'll tell you that. Man. Woo! This is, this, this is a New York Rocks exclusive wow. challenge to Mike Tyson. Yeah. If he has the cojones enough to get in the ring with the mad dog. Well, I don't want you people to think this is a fairy. This is a true thing going on. I'm making history uh, today on New York Rocks. And this is what's going to happen. Uh, Me and Mike Tyson, hopefully next year or whenever he's ready, you know, get, get in shape, Tyson. But when I get done with you, I'm gonna send you back to the to the dog pound. That's what I'm taking you to. Oh, puppy, he's a puppy, right? He's a puppy, puppy pound, right? <laughs> what do you right. think about this mayhem? Over there? I, I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's great. Twisted um, Sister is gonna play there. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get great. the boys to play, man. We'll play the pre the, the pre wrestling uh, um, festivities, man. Well, you know what? We're at the end of the show. I'm gonna end it with the house band. Pull the ambulance for this white guy. Well, if they there, play right? loud enough, maybe they'll wake them up. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what I'll happens. To, I, I want to thank everybody that came on the show here tonight. All my guests, I want to thank Tommy Guns, Joe, uh, Joe Penzarella, Joe Pasilico. I want to thank uh, all the people that came, uh, Andre with the film, uh, Priceless, and uh, our camera people. We got Vinny, Tiffany. I want to thank Peaches and Terry and Frank for helping out, and Bernard, and everybody that came down here, Chaz. 
Everybody rocking on New York Rock. Yeah, so let's finish Bianca. up. Uh, you know, hey, Johnny he's Bianca. sleeping. Johnny B, helping Johnny out with B. New York Rock. So, you know, we'll, we'll take care of him. We'll give him some smelling salts. So let's, let's, let's close it out with New York Rock. Yeah. Let's go. Who's that masked man? Pretty Purdy. There he is, bro. Pretty Purdy. Look at that. Look at that. Last month we had you, and now we have Bernard. There you go. Who rocks better than us? Hi, New York rocks. Take it away, guys.